I'm out here at this property, we've been finding those musket balls and stuff from the uh, 1759 during the Anglo-Cherokee War. And uh, back out here again today, and uh, there's a lot to be found, I believe, out here. Um, we're basically in the woods and looking for when those British troops come in here and camped for that small period of time. I believe it was 10 days. I could be wrong. But um, we've done found some musket balls, and uh, we found four total, found two arrowheads. And so uh, we know that they were here, and what we're wanting to do now is try to expand our field of where we're looking and what we're finding. And I'd love to find some buttons for maybe a British, uh, a British soldier's uh, uh, uniform, uh, maybe a, a shoe buckle or some kind of buckle that they were wearing. That would be sweet. Um, I have no idea what we could find out here. Um, my, my, my hope is that we can find maybe a British coin that may have come out of the pocket. And that would be sweet. So uh, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to find more of stuff like that. Um, I already had a meeting with the museum and donated those four musket balls. And uh, if you live in the Pickens County area or in Greenville County or Coney or something like that, and you want to see those things in person, you can go to the museum and you can see those. But uh, that's what we got permission to come out here and do. The campground itself is to my right and it is closed for the winter. And but they have given us permission to go on the property and to, to uh, scout out this area up in these woods and to these hills and to see if we can find anything else. So uh, I'm really thankful we get to get this opportunity to come out here and to try to find anything else historic from that time period. So uh, let's get out there. I'm gonna quit talking. Let's get out there and see what else we can find. I'm hoping to hit a home run again today, but we will find out very soon. See you in a minute. First target, it's a little 22 round, looks like. All right, well, this is a county property, but I'm sure before this was county property that it was somebody's private property, and they had a they shot a couple bullets out here, so there's one of them. Let's keep at it. All right, well, I gotta get some older stuff. <laughs> so far, I got me a 12 gauge shotgun round, so let's keep moving. Really, really excited for a second. But it's a 1966 penny, so and it's been out here a really, really long time. So this thing could have been dropped before the lake was built. The lake was built in 1968 and 69. As you can see, I'm working my way. Chris found that musket ball right down there, right before you get to that island down there. The lake's down today compared to the last time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be able to take that little beach on my way over to the island because I just want to see what I can find there too. So uh, let's keep moving. I do have a 1966 penny in my possession now. Got a razor blade. Keep moving. I don't know what that is. It's, it was iron, of course it's iron. It's almost like a tooth off of some kind of a, maybe some farm equipment. It was going off good. I don't know what that is. Anybody recognize that? I just can't place it. All right, on the next. I was getting ready to go over here to this little island and uh, Found a little piece of jewelry, probably a little earring, some sort, right here on this little this little connector between the island and the mainland over here. So that's all right. We'll look at it later, see if it has any kind of markings, but that's okay. I'll take it. All right, this is some sort of a aluminum, I think. I don't know what it attaches to though. I'm trying to see if there's words on it. I see something kind of writing or something on it. Anybody recognize that? You over here in the lights, so you can kind of see it a little better. I don't know what that is. Right here next to this tree. On this island. I don't think I see any writing though. I just see some kind of decoration right there. Alright, if y'all know what that is, let me know. I like to show these because I don't find them very often. <laughs> no, y'all can laugh at me if you want to, but I found pull tabs more than I find these. Oh, nickel. Let's see what year it is. Looks like an 87. The year my wife was born. Yep, 1987. Philadelphia. I'll take it. 
Been walking now out of the woods now for about 20 minutes. Finally hit this road. I started right up there around the bend up the hill. That's where I started at. And uh, worked my way way down in them woods, down near the lake, hitting that island and everything. But uh, no, I didn't find anything today from that time period. But that's okay. Because with this video, I'm going to show you where we give over the musket balls to the museum and also those things from the Boy Scouts. So stay tuned, keep watching. And you'll get to see that. After that, I'll show you the wrap up of what I did find. And then we'll call it a day. Let me remind everybody what we're doing. Um, this is the uh, issue from April of 1954. And uh, this is a Boy Scouts magazine. And there's an article in here from the Boy Scouts um, Club right here in Pickens County, South Carolina. And there's an article in here about that, that troop and uh, some things that they did. And uh, the museum up here is trying to put together a display um, for the Boy Scouts of Pickens County and the history. So uh, I, I actually purchased this with uh, YouTube money and affiliate money for the museum and uh, for that article inside. And the reason behind it, the reason behind it was these, uh, these two shells here that we found at, uh, um, at that boy, old Boy Scouts camp the same day that Chris found the uh, Indian head penny and uh, these are 22 shorts and uh, the Boy Scouts issued every scout back in that time a 22 rifle but it would only shoot the short rounds and so we found several of them back there in all in one area and what we believe that they were plinking and shooting so uh, we're going to turn those over to them see if they want those and also, we have our musket balls. And I'll go ahead and open this, this here up. I'm going to attempt to open it up. This is the musket ball that Chris found down at that county park that we've been hunting in. And uh, y'all remember seeing that back last summer. We're going to turn that over to them. That has been fired, and it hit something. It struck something there. And then... We don't have the two uh, arrowheads because <clears throat> for whatever reason, Chris didn't pick them up and hang on to them. And uh, now we can't find them again. But uh, we have these two, we have these other three musket balls. This is the, uh, this one here we believe was a 69 caliber. We had a uh, Riley Bryant with Civil War unearthed. He looked at it in Charleston. He believes it's a 69 caliber, which was very popular with the British we have our 59 caliber that looks like if it was fired it must have just struck dirt because it has one little flat spot on it but it's a, a really f small flat spot it's either it was just dropped on a hard surface or it was shot into the dirt so that's a 59 caliber and then we have mine and mine is the bigger of the two chris found the smaller one here and i found that one over there on the right and uh but these are all found over on that property and uh that's pretty awesome. So we're going to turn over to those. We're going to give them our uh, our card here to put with the items. And also, we're going to give them a couple tokens to go with them. So let's go in there and let's see what they say. Everybody. Um, I'm in the museum now um, we've already uh, I've already donated everything to the museum and I just want to show you a couple cool things right here though I love the history of our county some awesome history here and uh, when, man when you metal detect them I mean, it's just kind of part of it you, you get into the history side of it and when I first got into metal detecting it was all about just you know finding coins things like that but the more I do it the more I enjoy finding stuff like this and uh, getting to um, come up here to the museum and learn more about what I found but also if it's something that I can pass on for somebody else to enjoy and see that's what I want to do so uh, but anyway right here this is really neat um, these are arrow and spear points uh, some were found right here in Pickens County a lot of them probably were but um, 
But yeah, when we were out there in um, at Mile Creek Park, uh, Chris told me that his brother found a couple points like that. Quartz, the quartz airheads. So that's neat. But uh, what I really wanna show you is something that they may not put this in this display with the stuff that I gave today, but they might be working on something else to put it in a different display. But I wanna show you the fort called Fort Prince George. I wanna show it to you one more time and let you see the display here that they have. I mean, I really had a good time and uh, enjoyed being able to give that to him. We, we talked about all kinds of stuff, some other some other opportunities for us to put some things in there, as well as uh, just some things that they're looking for and some places that we can, we can try to reach out and try to get some permission. We all have learned history of, you know, Fort Sumter and, you know, all of the stuff about the Revolutionary War and World War I, World War II and things like that. You hit the highlights. You learn the highlights. But I love local history, and you learn so much from it. But, hey, let's show you the good stuff I found, and we're going to get out of here. All right, so for the finds, I uh, found this old rusty ring-looking thing down there near the water over on that island. And uh, remember y'all seen this? Found that there. It's pretty heavy. So uh, I don't know what it is. Something iron and heavy. But uh, here's this thing here. And uh, the more I look at it, I see a little plus sign right there and the arrow going to the plus. So I know it's nothing old. Of course, it's aluminum anyway. But I um, found a 94 nickel, a 93 penny. That 1966 that I found, it was in the ground probably three inches. I'm thinking that was probably there before the lake was built. 96, uh, that's a shield penny, and a 1987. So, and I found this little piece of jewelry there on the beach. So. Not a bad day. Hey, well, we appreciate you watching this video. Hey, always remember, treat others how you want to be treated. Have a good day. God bless. We'll see you next time.